All right, imagine waking up, walking outside, finding your massive pickup truck on blocks. It is happening over and over again in Keene and other small towns in Johnson County. As News 8's Todd Unger found, victims are left with a huge bill and no way to get around. Swing by the McGuire's place in Johnson County and it takes only a split second to notice it. Actually, we just got a couple months ago four new tires. Katie McGuire says two of those rear tires and wheels vanished overnight Sunday. Now they're out at least a grand a pop. They walked up right by the house, took the bricks out of our flower bed and propped them up. Um, my husband was saying it looked like they just shoved the bricks underneath and let the air out of the tires. But now what we're seeing is large trucks being lifted up. Um, and this to me does not strike me as an amateur individual. This is someone with a hydraulic drill that's in and out very fast. Keene Police Chief Emmett Jackson says they've had a few of these thefts in only a few days. They don't have uh, any kind of surveillance. There's no security systems. Uh, in one offense, instead of taking the wheels, they took an entire Ford F-250 with two loaded firearms and uh, and currency inside of it because the keys were left inside of the truck. It's happening elsewhere too. Burleson, Cleburne, Mansfield. The chief says it's likely the thieves are part of larger crime rings coming from Dallas or Fort Worth. The timing couldn't be worse this holiday season, especially right before Christmas. That's not money we had laying around. I mean, yeah, we have insurance, but we still got to pay the deductible and Keen. They're stepping up surveillance, even toying with the idea of makeshift bait trucks to put a dent in what's becoming a tire theft free for all. Todd Unger, Channel 8 News.